Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today we have another history, Caribbean history, CSEC past paper. We have a paper one from 2016. So 2016 Caribbean history paper one. All right, so let's not waste any time. Number one, which of the following best explains why the indigenous people migrated to the Americas from their original homelands? And the answer is A, they were following herds of deer which they hunted. Number two, in which, of the, in which island of the Greater Antilles were both Kalinagos and Tainos found at the end of the 15th century? And so the best answer here is D, Puerto Rico. Number three, ornaments worn by the Taino leaders were often made of gold. A, gold. Number four, the ruler of the main city-state was called the Halak Eunuch. All right, Halak Eunuch. Number five, we have... Which of the following did the mayor use as money? And we have D, Cory Shells. Number six, Christopher Columbus sailed west mainly because he wanted to be, find a passage to the east. Number seven, the main reasons why the English attempted to break the Spanish monopoly in the New World was to B, obtain a sheet of the wealth of the New World. Number eight, which of the following islands was the first, was first to be settled by the English? And the answer here is A, St. Kitts. That's why St. Kitts is called the mother, mother colony of the West Indies. Number nine, the duty of the encomendero towards the indigenous people was to B, protect and Christianize them. Number 10, which of the following statements are true of the British Caribbean colonies in the 18th century? And so we have, they imported most of their food, yes. They depended heavily on trade with Britain, yes. They, would, they had developed strong navies in, to defend them, their roots, uh, no. So the best answer is A, 1 and 2. Number 11, in the 1600s, Dutch islands in the West Indies were mainly used as sea trading stations. The Dutch were only interested in trading, basically, in the Caribbean around them times. Number 12, tobacco did not continue as a profitable crop for Caribbean settlers because of the B, increased competition from Virginia tobacco. Number 13, which of the following is true of the enslaved persons in the British Caribbean? And the best answer is C, they were encouraged by their masters to farm on small provision grounds. Number 14, which of the following did not occur in Africa as a result of the trade in enslaved Africans? And so the answer here is A, uniting of Africa under European rule. Number 15, which of the following st statements about the population of Barbados by the end of the 1600s is true? And so the answer here is B, blacks were far greater in number than whites. Number 16, which of the following conditions did not result from the Haitian Revolution? And so the answer here is A, the mulattoes were wiped out. Number 17, the motive of the enslaved Africans during the insurrection in St. Domingue was mainly to, and the best answer here is C, free all the enslaved in the country. Number 18, which of the following events in, Carib in the Caribbean was influenced mostly by French Revolution? And so the answer is C, the mulatto revolt in St. Domingue. All right, number 19, the expedition sent from Napoleon to St. Domingue in 1801 under the leadership of Le Creur was intended mainly to, and the best answer here is D, restore French control. Number 20, which of the following was not included in the 1739 peace treaty between the Maroons of Chilani town in Jamaica and the British authorities? And so the best answer is C, the Maroons could not accept runaway slaves as members of their community. Number 21, which of the following persons was not a leader in the humanitarian movement? And so we have A, Lord Mansfield. Number 22, the arguments that the British humanitarians used against slavery in the 1800s was mainly B, moral. Number 23, the main source of dispute between planters and formerly enslaved persons during the apprenticeship was B, wage rates. 24, which is the following describes how most planters and colonial assemblies reacted to amelioration. And so the best answer is A, they completely rejected or largely ignored the proposals. Number 25, most West Indian planters saw the period of apprenticeship mainly as D, a means of ensuring steady labor supply. So even though people are supposed to be free, they're still taking advantage of the blacks. 26, the largest number of mi migrants into the British Caribbean during the 19th century came from, of course, a India. 27, 
which of the following were benefits the Emancipation Act of 1833 gave enslaved Africans in the British Caribbean? So you have to choose from one, a chance to work for wages, two, social equality with whites, and three, assistance from stipendiary magistrates. And so the best answer here is B, one and two, a chance to work for wages, and assistance from stipendiary magistrates. All right, 20, 20, 29, 28, sorry. That scale migration to Trinidad and Guyana between 1838 and 1870 led to, and the best answer is all of the above, which is cultural diversity in those territories, two, racial conflicts among the ethnic groups, and three, economic development in both territories. 29, indentured workers from Madeira brought elements of culture to the British Caribbean from which of the following cultures were these elements drawn? And of course, it's the Portuguese. Number 30, the majority of migrants brought to, the, to work in the Caribbean, British Caribbean in the years between emancipation and the First World War were employed as C, unskilled laborers. 31, the planters' main intention in encouraging formerly enslaved persons to settle near plantations after emancipation was to have them C, work on the plantations. Number 32, William Neighbor foresaw the planters would try to force extra work from their free laborers by increasing rent on homes on the estates. To which territory is the statement referring to? And of course, it's B, Jamaica. Number 33, which, of the, which action did William Neb take to assist freed Africans to acquire land? And so the answer is C, establish free villages. 34, which is the following best explains why Guyana and Trinidad have the largest need for migrant laborers. And the answer is C, the creation of peasant village led to labor shortages. 35, the migrants of Guyana and Trinidad from the Eastern Caribbean Islands after 1838 were interested merely in B, seeking higher wages. 36, refers to the following quotation. And if an apple severed from the tempest from its native tree cannot choose but fall to the ground, Cuba, incapable of self-support, can gravitate only towards the North American Union. Eric Williams. Okay, by which argument did the U.S. make Cuba gravitate towards the Northern Union? And so the best answer here is the Platt Amendment. Then we have 37, Fidel Castro overthrew the government of Felicio Batista by D, organizing armed internal uprisings. 38, which of the following best summarize the stated aim of the Monroe Doctrine? A, the prevention of new European colonization in the Americas. 39, which of the following situations was a result of Puerto Rico becoming a commonwealth in 1952? And the best answer is D, Puerto Rico became a self-governing country associated with the United States. Number 40, the policy which the United States governed was actively, actively involved in the directing of financial affairs of the Caribbean between 1905 and 1930 was known as dollar diplomacy, dollar diplomacy. 41, which of the following factors were responsible for the outbreak of riots and strikes in the British Caribbean during the 1930s? And so the best answer here is B, 1 and 3, which is a high level of unemployment and 3, increased awareness of injustice towards workers. 1930s was the labor movement across the region. 42, most of the Caribbean political leaders in the 1930s advocated constitutional change mainly to, in order to A, obtain self-government. 43, which of the following statements best describe the focus of the Moyne Commission? And the best answer is D, to investigate the economic, social, and political situation in the colonies and to make recommendations. 44, in many British Caribbean territories during the 1930s, there was a strong link between political parties and A, the trade unions. Most parties came out of the trade union. 45, during the post-1938 period, trade unions in the British Caribbean sought mainly to D, improve wages and living conditions for workers. 46, it was the following statement. From 10 leaves not. 46, which of the following is the above statement associated with? And of course we know, C, Jamaica's decision to withdraw from the 1958 Federation. Jamaica thought they were bigger than all the other um, islands and so they would do best by themselves 
and so they withdrew. 47, which of the following Caribbean countries became the first free and associated state of the USA? And of course, the answer is D, Puerto Rico. 48, which of the following Caribbean territories were assimilated by France in 1946? And we all know this today, D, Guadeloupe, French Guiana, and Martinique. 49, the first Caribbean country to gain its independence was B, Haiti. Haiti, number 50, in what order did the following countries gain political independence? And of course, we have Guyana, Jamaica, Grenada. So the answer is C. That was Jamaica first, then Guyana, and then Grenada. 51, the body that had complete control over the Spanish colonies of the New World was the D. Council of Indies. 52, which of the following causes is shared by Barbados Rebellion in 1816 and the Jamaican Rebellion of 1831. And so the answer is D, enslaved Africans thought that their freedoms were being withheld, so they raised up. 53, which, of the, which area of the African continent was the transatlantic slave trade in captive Africans mainly conducted, of course, that B, West Africa. 54, in which, colon, in which chronological order did the British Caribbean planters first face competition from the following? French beet sugar, Cuban slave grown sugar, and sugar from St. Domingue. And of course, the best answer here is C. Uh, first, sugar from St. Domingue, then two, Cuban slave grown sugar, and one, French beet sugar. 55, which is the following person is not associated with the place with which he is peered. And so the answer here is C, Sir Thomas Warner and Trinidad. Of course, Sir Thomas Warner is tied to St. Kitts because that's where he broke the British, the Spanish monopoly by settling on St. Kitts. 56, in which of the following did the following, in which order did the following stage in the movement towards independence in the British territories take place? And so the best answer here is B, which is one, first, introduction of the party system, three, achievement of universal adult suffrage, two, election of prime minister, and four, full internal self-government. 57, which of the following British amelioration proposals applied to enslaved females only, and is A, no more floggings. 58, in which, of the, in which chronological, chronological order did the following industries develop in the Caribbean? And so we have C, which is sugar first, then banana, then petroleum. 59, mercantilism was the policy used by England and France to A, control the trade of their colonies. 60, which, of the following did the, which order did the following occur during the 16, 1960s in the British Caribbean? 1, associated statehood, 2, federation, 3, independence, and of course the answer here is federation, associated statehood, and then of course independence. All right, so that's it for the May-June 2016 Caribbean History Paper 1. All right? So you know what to do now? You like, of course, you subscribe, and you share the video, and you hit the bell so you know when another video would have dropped from Learn SKN. All right? So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.